metallic. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Kalik. Ah, you're awake. Ooh. Howdy. <laughs> when your Lothwing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but Kalik, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? <laughs> A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself, you're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything ha about her seem... off? I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Kalik. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Hey everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Kalakamaro, the probable reason that you are here, and in the last episode, uh, we were flying out with Zelda when we got caught in this black tornado. Swept us away, and Zelda in particular. And now, we've decided to follow this strange voice. And this fairy person. Chasing it, we do realize this is the figure from our dreams. And it appears to be leading us towards a, an area we've never been before. Oh boy. Jesus. I forgot those things. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Alright. Yeah, don't feel sorry for those things. They're little bastards. Ah, Alright, let's... let's... Avoid the choo-choo, which is... <laughs> lurking on... Actually... There's a chest, which I'm gonna pick up right now. <laughs> for them sick prophets. Okay. Cool. 
Alright. Still whimpering. Alright. Well. Oh boy. Hope I can reach this in time. I should be able to. Yep. Let's keep following this thing. Uh, oh, I could have used that. Oh well. Cool. Alright, we definitely have to make this jump. <laughs> Alright, oh, it's hot punch there anyway. Alright, cool. Alright, well, we're back at the statue of the goddess. <laughs> There's some interesting leggings. Huh. <laughs> well. Let's head on inside then, shall we? Oh. Fucking bat. Let's, let's just stick out the bat. Oh, hello. Yeah. More treasure. Excellent. Yeah, so, um. Sh let me just explain this before I go inside. Basically, those treasures, every time you turn on the game, uh, they will provide an explanation, but after you've got them in a certain session for the first time, they'll do the explanation and they won't do it a second time. So, one of the annoying things and sort of one of the more useful things about Skyward Sword, but there you go. Anyway, inside the statue of the goddess, we will find... The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Kalik. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Well, that's good news, at least. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> I guess. It seems that per further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, Draw the sword and raise it skyward. Let's do it.
You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Oh, excellent. Recognition complete, master. Kalak, my master. <laughs> Hot digger to damn. <laughs> Kalak, what the hell are you doing at this time of night? <laughs> I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it is foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I, sh I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such as his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world down there, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill a mission set before you by my creator, the Goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Kalak. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. <laughs> this tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. <laughs> My creator, Steve Jobs. Take it and place within the altar behind me. Yay, I got the emerald tablet! The weather surface is the heavy stone feels very old. I just realized, yeah, they're not really tablets, iPads. I should probably say Android, but I don't know the creator. But anyway! Master, the first thing you uh, must do is hit the crests sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade whenever you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Alright, let's do it. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... <laughs> Looks like it worked. <laughs> That's the first we've seen of that. Alright.
Master Kallik, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world from the world that you know from the one below. The tablet you placed on the altar has opened a small rift in the cloud barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. Shit. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press thingy to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Alright, cool. Alright. Calic, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old texts text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think. If what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Calic. Especially down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but is only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legend's true. Alright. Fucking... I can't... Yeah, we go. <laughs> Fucking motion plus. Jesus. You do your people proud, Kallik. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Kallik, and those clothes... they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for the winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. Here we go. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the colour. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting colour for you. It is as though you were born to wear it. <laughs> Damn straight. Now this is the link we've been waiting for. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by the sh some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Excellent! And that is going to be it for this episode, everybody! Uh, sorry! It's a bad idea. Oh, serious? What are you doing? Oh, wow, okay. This is the first instance of not only fourth wall breaking, but very irritating fourth wall breaking. So, um, yeah, you can press down on the detail to call P, even though we don't want to. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to be embarking on our great quest below the clouds and hopefully looking for Zelda. Uh, I've been Calic Mara, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.